Okay guys, here's the big hire. Um, I got it cleaned up a fair bit. You guys can't really tell, but it is super fucking clean. Excuse my language. Um, the inside of this thing was atrocious. I am not even, and no, that's not even a misuse of the word. This is not even an understatement because the entire inside of this grill is full of fucking spider webs and spider nests. Like, holy shit. I got the whole thing sprayed out of it. Um, the airflow is much better. Speaking of which, somebody commented on the video before saying that the, that the low speed was not fast enough. Well, we're gonna prove, I'm gonna prove that to you now. So, we're going to start off on fan. Fan is just, um, medium fan without compressor. So we're just actually gonna skip over and go into low cool. I can see how you can get missed this. How you can probably miss that because it does sound really slow but it's not, observe. It's, it's paper town. And then the condenser. There's airflow coming out of the condenser all the way along it. Turn up the medium. And you see at this point it is actually pushing that. I did not take off the back half, but and now that I'm seeing how much airflow it's getting, there's probably not much need to do that. It's hard to believe that this thing is 5,000 BTUs because look at that airflow. Look at how much air that thing outputs. <laughs> Let's go to high. The air is just pouring out of the back of this thing. And then the front of this thing. Like, there is no way that this thing is 5,000 BTU. This thing has got to be at least six to 8,000 BTUs. I will do a compressor startup. I haven't started up the compressor in quite a while, so it's probably going to sound pretty raspy. Um, it's also, like, in the middle of November. This is a Richie Precision Compressor. Already kind of predicted that, but uh, you can't see it. The branding is. Um, oh, here, hold on. I think you can see it if I do this. Precision. Oh, either way. Do a compressor startup. Starting to get warm in the back. It's starting to get cold on the inside. Take the grill off for you. Yeah, 
You can see it's starting to frost up up there. I'm not sure if that's from a low charge or if that's just... Or if it's because of improper cooling on the inside. I'm not sure. Um, see this thing's starting to sound better now. Now that the head pressure is built up. I do like the sound of the compressor though. It's gonna be vibrating at first because um because of the low head pressure. It's getting cold on the inside. It's getting warm on the outside. See, the outside part's making that weird squeaking noise. I'm not sure if it's because there's something like in the coil that's making that noise from the airflow or if it's because of the... or if it's the motor. I don't think it's the motor though, I think it's just something in the coil. See, when it slows down, there's not as much airflow. The sound goes away. See, that's just a fan. This thing, you should have seen how bad it is. Like, it's even still pretty dirty. Like, this part up here is still pretty dirty. But all along down here, just covered in spider webs and shit. Um, the filter part, I um, can't see it from in here, but right here and right there were two, one of those little white fuzzy spider nest things. <sighs> uh, this filter is the, this is probably the cleanest this filter's been in a long time, uh, because beforehand you could not see through it. Like, you, you couldn't. And which it was so bad. Um, you can't see it. Thankfully, I have a light here. It doesn't make much difference, but I mean, you can see it now. Right? There's the blower fan. You can't tell on the camera. <clears throat> Voice crack. You can't really tell on the camera, but there is. It's very, very dirty. Unfortunately, I don't feel like doing a full teardown on this thing. It's not exactly worth it. And you can even see still that there is still a lot of dirt wedged in here. I'm going to need a, a tough wire brush to get that out, as I don't have any coil cleaner. I don't know where my, where my wire brush went as I did have one, and now it is missing. I'll have to borrow one from my work. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys for watching, and tuning in, and this is finalizing the end of the cooling season and the start of the heating season. As you guys probably saw with my furnace videos, there will be a new video about a space heater pretty soon, so get ready for that.